between the architecture profession, urbanists, and right. the Congress for the New Urbanism say on yep. one side, mm -hmm. and then uh, the big home builders right. on the other. Right. Tell me a little bit about your engagement with the home building industry and the degree to which they're open to, or not yes. open to, a different way of thinking about well, place making. Well, I, I talk a lot to, uh, to builders and remodelers also. They're mm -hmm. definitely a different crowd. Yeah. Um, but there Less are, black. Is, <laughs> you know? There is a sad... Different sabs, clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They wouldn't be... They would be uh, at odds with the rest of the clothing in this convention, yes, for example. Yes. But, um, but there are ma there's definitely a subset of the builder population that is really, really interested in mm -hmm. Not So Big. Just as there are architects trying to find clients who are interested in what we do, there yeah. are builders who are craftspeople primarily yes. who are really looking for uh, customers who mm -hmm. are interested in what they can do. And so these, the books that I've written have been really helped, it really helped them also Educating them, actually. Exactly. I actually um, created something called the Home Professionals Directory on my website, mm. notsobighouse.com, yes. that allows the homeowners that are fans of mine to find the professionals they need to help them. So it's a really incredible tool. There's a, a way that people find their builders and their architects and their interior right. designers. But we're fairly invisible. Those people mm -hmm. that are the craftspeople that want to do the smaller, better designed houses, yeah. and what I'm hoping to now move into, to find the communities that really have that quality of home and neighborhood. It's um, an amazing resource that you're offering. And yeah. I know that there's, there's uh, got to be something very daunting for a member of the general public in terms of trying yes. to find a contractor, an architect. and Very difficult. They, they are overwhelmed by too much information, too mm -hmm. many choices. And what they want to, to do is have somebody help them whittle it down a little bit and say, yes. look, you still have to do due diligence, but these people at least will know what you're talking about. Now, we've talked about builders, we've talked about the general public, we've talked about the design professions. What about um, government entities? And I think about yes. how, how much of a commitment, a, a positive commitment you have to constructive placemaking in the United right. States. And then I think about this sometimes disconnect mm -hmm. when you think about zoning and code in so many municipalities. Yeah. In the United it, States. What I've found actually, because of because people know, you know, that I'm going to be talking about smaller, better designed places. Yes. Um, I've actually been speaking recently to a lot of governmental agencies too, and so, and and people. I've found that right now in planning, particularly, there's a big shift in attitude. They want to be seen as the good guys, and they yes. want to be to to start creating walkable communities, for example. So I think that we've got we've got people's ear and. As architects, we have an opportunity to really be leaders in yes. speaking with those uh, government officials and those zoning people and bringing, bringing them into a, a new day of walkable community. A powerful message, Sarah Suzanka. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you. It's great to be here.